Hello everyone, this is Olive Branch and welcome back to Let's Play Need for Speed Most Wanted. This is episode 26 of our quest, and in this episode I'm going to be running a race event and a milestone event for Blacklist number 3, Ronnie. Before we get to that, of course, a little bit of housekeeping. We won JV's uh, Viper the other time, and his car is much better than our own. Uh, so the Cobra is going bye-bye. And we are going to take JV's Viper, we're going to redo it, and we're going to call it the Cobra Commander. Then we're going to have to buy a new car, the 4GT you guys all voted for, and I'm going to do it up all Americana style and call it the America. So, I'm going to take this car right here, I'm going to go buy us our GT, and then it's time to take these two cars, make them really cool, and race them. Alright guys, meet the Cobra Commander. Dark blue, dark red, red window tint, a new spoiler, red rear rims. This Viper is looking like a boss, and it's exactly what it's going to be when we race it this episode. I'm going to take this baby over to the car shop, I'm going to show off the GT before we buy it, then it's back to this shop here, the tune-up shop, to upgrade it and to paint it America style. Alright, here we are at the car shop. Time to make this for GT hours. Look at this, look at this car. Just look at it, look, look, look at it. It looks so awesome. And it's gonna be so cool when it's done up the American way. Let's buy it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this here is the stats before and after of our car. You can see from the yellow dots where we are. I unfortunately cannot buy the ultimate engine just yet for the Ford GT because it's locked, but Whatever, I'm just going to upgrade what I can, and I'll show off the stats before and after. So once again, this is before, and this is after. As you can see, I've added the Junkman Supercharger in the back room for this car. Because the Ford GT is one of the car few cars that can be completely pushed to 5 on every single stat, it's already looking like a beast. Not as good as the cars we already have in our garage, but after we beat Ronnie, America is going to be one of the best cars around that we can use. Ladies and gentlemen, Meet the America. A moment of silence, please. Alright, I just had to do that. This is the America. As you can see, nothing special to it, except for the colors and the, uh, the, guy, the, the visor, the wheel rims. I was debating whether or not to put a body kit on it and a spoiler, and I figured, nah, it is not necessary. This car is patriotic enough as it is, we don't need any more excess other than that. In any case, we're going to take this baby for the pursuit later in the video. Right now, the Cobra Commander is going to have to take over and see what races there are to race against Ronnie. Alright, so what race events does Ronnie have for us today? I see a sprint here, lab knockout in the circuit. It's been a while since we've done the sprint, so I think I'm going to be doing a sprint for this race. I'm going to be taking a longer one though, so you guys can see the uh, Cobra Commander in more action. I think this is the longest one of the bunch, 7.5 miles. Yeah, that's the one. All right, time to take the Cobra Commander. We're going to start in Rosewood, go through Point Camden, and end downtown. Let's get to it. Cobra! Attack! New speedometer. Just figured you guys should, I should point that out. This is the hair plan. This is the, I think, the hairpin speedometer is called. I picked another one for the America, for America I should say though, and I think you guys are going to agree very much, it's a very apt 
uh, very apt speedometer for that car. And my goodness, I am driving badly today. The Cobra Commander is doing its best, but, you know, the best I'm giving it is not enough. Man, G.I. Joe would be so angry with me right now. Ah, oh, well, at least Cobra is living up to its name. Annihilating innocent people. Oh, and I can go through the, the uh, prison over here. Just like Cobra to do that. And just like Cobra to flip itself over. Jesus. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We're alive. We're okay. Let's keep going. The Cobra Commander is pretty banged up. But we just got a huge lead on our opponents. Oh dear. Mm. Probably should have spoke speed broken that. And I'm driving like crap today. Whoa, this car has some drift to it. Oversteering is a serious problem. Oh, what was that actually doing? He was just stopped there. Well, causing a bunch of traffic collisions, not that I care. Hell, at this point, I might as well be just doing the pursuit on this car, the way I'm driving it. We're about halfway done. Man, that pickup went flying, too. And I probably should not have kept gleefully crashing into everything that moved. Especially not the rear of another racer. God damn it. As you can see, the other racers are just as tough as you are. And you can't take them out, no matter how much you smack them. It's not to your advantage to try to flip them over, unless you get lucky and they're driving a light car. And you just hit them just right underneath. And you just flip them over like a big turtle. Or like a big beetle, I should say. Sometimes I wish the cars had like a sort of like a rhinoceros beetle style flipper in the front. That way if you crash the head into the car, you could just whoop, flip it right over you. And I hit the speed breaker just in time. Perfect. Using this car here as my brake. Not good enough though. God damn it. This Lamborghini up ahead of me is being a really annoying rival. But I think I took the yeah, I took the lead off him just in the just in the nick of time. Woo! That was a close one. Close up of the Cobra, looking pretty. And that was a very close win. I really shouldn't have kept smacking all those cars. But uh, <laughs> 10 traffic collisions, but at least it was fun. Well done, I applaud your performance. Now it is time to take the America out to play. Doing what we do best, pissing off the government. In this episode, I'm going to have to tag a minimum of 32 police vehicles get 600,000 bounty in a single pursuit. Well, I can't do this one because if there's any police in less than two minutes, that's not going to happen. But, and we're going to have to have at least an eight minute chase. So, I have three objectives this time around with America. I have to just get a lot of bounty, hit a lot of cops, and survive. Nothing else to it. Let's get started. I'm going to try... I'm going to start downtown just because. Let's begin. Check out my speedometer. It's a glint speedometer. It's the most expensive speedometer you can buy and it just screams gaudy. Perfect for America. But in any case, you know what time it is, it's time to speed up, and I'll slow the action down when we get to something exciting.
Time to get serious. Jesus, did you see that car just fly over me? I was trying to back up to get some more uh, roadblock uh, bounty. But I'm going to have to do make do just by running away and trying to smack cars out of the way as they can. That's it for the pursuit time challenge, but we still have a lot of ways to go before I can get the bounty. Okay, that means I have to start smacking cars out of the way like crazy. And of course, get to heat level 5, which is building up very nicely. I just realized? I just realized I don't even have to do half of this. I just have to go hit up a suit breaker with ten of these cops chasing me. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go move over there now. And that's it for the trade paint milestone. All that's left is the bounty. I have to go find a pursuit breaker and just smack it so a bunch of these cops get taken out at the same time. Let's go to the stadium. Nothing more American than the football. If I can get this turn... Ah, man, these cops are aggressive on heat level 4. I swear. Now let's, get, let's let more of them get around me. Here we go. Damn, I took out everybody. I better not evade him just yet. Whoa, this... Goddamn, I'm trying to not oversteer here. I think that was too effective. There we go. Alright guys, welcome to Condition 5, Heat Level 5. This is the highest heat level attainable in a pursuit. Barring, of course, a few special uh, events. The cops are all out to us. It's not even the cops anymore. It's actually the federal government chasing us. The FBI, I think. If in the first level we have the civic cops, in the second level, or the third and fourth level, we have uh, the state police, and now it's the federal uh, authorities after us. As you can see, the cops are driving are driving uh, Corvettes, and they're stark white with spoilers. They go really fast. And, and all in all, the cops in this level are a pain in the butt. Even worse, the helicopter, which you see up there, now actively attempts to attack us. They're they're pulling out all the stops, and thankfully, I just hit the bounty. So it's time to escape, but I'm not going to have enough time. They're gonna, they're gonna, the backup's going to come. 
And I'm gonna have to evade all the cops before I can get out of this. This should be fun. The university is actually a really good place to lose cops effectively. They seem to try to take the inside curves of the university and because you're driving away so fast, they, they lose you after you get out of a certain distance. They try to outwit you and then you just outwit them by driving in circles. It's kind of sad actually. I don't even want to cause any more destruction. Even though I'm making, I'm probably making some libertarian out there, very happy with this. We did it! America the Beautiful has come through in sh with shining colors that don't run. We've almost obtained 2 million bounty alone off that pursuit. That was crazy. The pursuit took about almost 17, 16 minutes and a half. 51 vehicles were damaged, 29 were immobilized, 11 spikes to dodge, 17 roadblocks. The cost of state wasn't really that high, not even a quarter of a million. And we've touched upon 6 infractions. Counting speeding, but not excessive speeding or reckless driving. As you can see, all the milestones but Pursuit Evasion were done. I have to do that off camera. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a pleasure driving this beautiful car and giving you the patriotism of outrunning the federal government. I'm Olive Branch. I'll catch you all next time. Peace out.